Hey, Chris Bay, you turd cutter, you're right about one thing. When a guy like you crosses paths with a guy like me, it does make headlines. The thing is, though, Chris, what I do to you ain't gonna be in the sports page. It's gonna be on the front page because it's gonna be a crime. Hey, you think I meant that? You think I meant that, Chris, or you think I was messing around? You can tell whether someone's speaking their truth or not by their eyes. I didn't get any of that crap. When I saw you talk about me, March 26th at Mecca 9, I saw false confidence. I saw insecurity. I saw nervousness. You are one of the most talented wrestlers I've ever met. I've told you that more than once. But you're making a big mistake when it comes to Mecca 9. You're thinking about celebrations. Too sweeting. The, the fans, what, what you're going to do when you beat Johnny Mecca. You should be thinking about how you're going to score the touchdown before you think about your celebration dance. How are you going to defend against 20 years of experience in this business? You can't outthink me. You're not stronger than me. You're not faster than me. You see, Chris, when the bell rings, eventually there's going to come a point where I stuff your offense and I look into your eyes and I see that false confidence go away. It's gonna be replaced with worry, frustration, fear, maybe anger. And when you lose your cool, maybe I'll lose mine. And at that moment, the two of us will be at war. And that, my friend, is why I do this. You see, sometimes I think War, it's a bad rap. Because that is the only way to find out between the two of us who the better man is. See you at Mecca 9, bro.